Hey guys, and as you may or may not know, I just recently finished a game called Amnesia uh, Machine for Pigs. Now, this is an indirect sequel of the first one, Amnesia Dark Descent, and I'm here to discuss the ending, the storyline, so there will be spoilers. I'm discussing the whole story. Um, so, let's jump right into it. So, gameplay. Um, if you're on an... If you're unfamiliar how to play an Anisha game, you can't kill any monsters, you can only run and avoid them, and you have to, um, um, solve puzzles. So, it, and sources will be below, so if you want to check this site out for yourself, you can, where I'm getting the information, the summary. So, it's set in 1899, on New Year's Eve, 60 years after Dark Descent. Um, you are Oswald Mandis. A wealthy industrialist who has recently returned from a disastrous expedition to Mexico. Um, basically, you get sick, you come back, and you you're really sick, and you're out for like a long time. And you you have frequent dreams about a dark machine until you regain consciousness. Little do, does he know that months have passed, and upon awakening, he hears his children calling for him to find them. So you wake up, and yeah, your children, you have to go find your children and crap. So, Mandus wanders out of his bedroom to find his children. During his search, the house shakes, and Mandus hears a machine roar to life beneath his feet. He also receives mysterious telephone calls, which are first cryptic, but then tell him that his children are trapped in the bowels of the machine, and to rescue them, he must repair it. So yeah, basically the first half of the game. But then... You head down into the depths. Manda slowly regains his memories and encounters the monstrous porcine slaves that patrol the corridors and catwalks. When Mandis finally reactivates the machine, he realizes that he was betrayed. His children were murdered by him before he slipped into the fever, and the guiding voice was the other half of his soul combined with the machine. So basically, um, you tried, um, before you went into the fever... You tried to d sabotage the machine, and throughout the game, you're going down there, and you're trying to fix all your sabotages and crap, and that the machine is telling you that. It's telling you that you need to reactivate the machine, and blah, 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 blah. So, now fully functional, the machine unleashes an army of pigmen onto London, killing any and all they come across, and sending them down to feed the machine's monstrous appetite. Oswald, realizing that he was the one who created the machine, Oswald is Mandis, it's his first name, um, returns to underground to destroy the machine once and for all. Oh, the irony. The machine pleads with him to reconsider, as he reveals Oswald murdered his sons after he was shown a vision of their future deaths in World War I. But Oswald realizes that he has no right to take the fate of humanity in his own hands, and he in his final act of redemption and guilt, he deactivates the machine. As the year 1900 passes, Mendes and the machine are both destroyed. So, he basically sacrifices himself to save humanity for the better of all of us. So yeah, that's the summary of the story. I quite enjoyed the story. Um... I got a lot more into it, into that one, than I got into Dark Descent story, because that story, um, it, it, the story kind of made up for the lack of gameplay, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching this summary, guys. I hope you guys will go on and play and enjoy the game, and please uh, consider subscribing and everything. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.